Hi, I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse vlog. Let's jump straight into the product for you this week. First up, a shoe that is close to a lot of the playtesters' hearts here at Tennis Warehouse and it's the Nike GP Turbo. And this is on the women's side, um, but the sizes do go up. So I think if you're uh, up to a men's 10 or 10 and a half, I think a 10 and a half, you can find um, a shoe that will fit you. And this one, you just got to size up one and a half sizes. So if you um, say would wear a nine, you would want to get a 10 and a half in this in the women's to fit you on the men's size nine. So uh, just keep that in mind. This one is in this really cool lime and blue colorway. This shoe offers a ton of cushioning. So if you're really looking for that plush pillowy ride out there on the court and you still get nice support, stability and good durability from your shoes, this is a good way to go. Again, one of the playtesters favorites. I know Troy loves the GP Turbo as does Michelle. And um, I've never actually played in one of those because I wasn't on the play test for this when they were out, but uh, super comfortable shoe right there from Nike. Okay, let's jump into some new shoes and new colors from Mizuno. First up, we've got new colors in the Wave Exceed Tour 5. Really digging the uh, blue with the bright yellow hit on this one. That is the um, lateral side of the shoe. Quick look at the medial side there. Quick look at the heel on that one. And there's the uh, all black outsole. There you can see the shank. Then we also have that same shoe and this black silver with a little bit of a light green hit right there at the heel. So it's really clean looking elsewhere, but a nice bit of color pop on the ankle collar lining on that one. And then a new shoe is this Wave Exceed Light 2. Um, I was a big fan of this shoe. I like the light. It's a very light, fast feeling shoe out on the court. Really lives up to its name. Very comfortable to wear as well. And then they always do a classic blue colorway, it seems, Mizuno. And so we have that one right here in this version. And then if you're looking for something super clean, we've got a white, silver, and black hit with a little bit um, of color pop there on the middle side and also through the tongue on this one. Quick look at the outsole right there. So there's some new shoes we got in recently. Let's jump into some vintage rackets. Now, first up, we've got a racket with a great name. It's called the Intimidator. Uh, so you definitely uh, really get your opponent shaking in their shoes with this one. This one is an early um, open throat design. So uh, this one I think has like six plies, yeah, six plies of French ash, two plies of fiber. Um, it's got the open throat design in it too. Again, small uh, mid head shape too. So a beautiful racket to have from Spalding in your collection. Um, and also really, I think a fun one to get out. Here it's got the original leather grip on it too. Super tacky. Feels great in the hand. Okay, next up, we're moving up in technology a little bit. Here we've got an, an aluminum racket here, and this is the uh, Snowit Tempo 30. Uh, so you've got the aluminum I-beam design on this one on the frame with a uh, plastic throat bridge. And that is screwed in with uh, four Phillips head screws right there, right at the yoke of the racket. Uh, it's got a nice beam design too up in the, the hoop. And this one I think would be a really fun. I love hitting the old aluminum rackets. Um, this one would be a fun one to get out and hit as well. So also made in Belgium right there. And then last but certainly not least, we've got this beautiful Yonex Titanium 400. Um, this one is a 98 square inch head size racket. Uh, feels nice in the hand. Uh, once you get this one strung up, it's gonna give you a ton of pop and plow through, just a lot of plow through power from the weight of this racket. And uh, it's got this beautiful carbon fiber look, cosmetic to it too. And uh, just really clean, simple with some purple grommets on that one. Okay, that's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.